hand back to the White House and you could see the portico where the president would be leaving from as the clock was ticking, they had a white canopy and they were saying at any moment now that the president will be leaving and driving what, what is approximately about 15 minutes from the White House of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue to the Congress building where he will do the State of the Union. Mm -hmm. I'm going somewhere here. Right. And so as the President and the First Lady came out of the portico, you see the beast, which is his car is what they call it, the beast. <clears throat> and all the uh, 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 security, Secret Service is standing around and then you see about 16 to maybe 20, 25 other vehicles. You got police, you got Secret Service, you got the president's car, his caravan, you got medical personnel, and they proceed out of the White House mm -hmm. to go to the Capitol. Mm -hmm. And as he approached the Capitol, if you ever watched it, the, the president's car goes down up under the Capitol, and he is held in something like what they call a state room until his arrival is announced. And here's the interesting thing. Uh, uh, as much as they talk about Barack, there's something about being a president that's tradition that they hold in high regard. So when the president comes and gets ready to speak, the, the, what they call the, uh, 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 the, uh, 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 the, 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 the marshal, it's not the marshal, but, uh, uh, the marshal, the, the, the sergeant of arms, thank you, sir, he comes and he walks in and he says, Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States, and it just goes into an uproar. And he slowly makes his way up and he's shaking hands and he's clapping and they're shouting. And it's not because it's Barack, but it's because of what Barack represents. In ancient Rome, 